they asked the question that he wants to know about Islamic banking. Islamic banking offer loan and they add a X percent interest, X percent, they call it service charge, whatever. Is it not interest? See, basically interest is haram in Islam. The knowledge is in eight different places where Allah says interest is haram. Allah clearly says in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 278 to 79, that if you give up not your demands for interest, take notice of a war from Allah and his soul. So interest is haram. Now, as far as Islamic banking is concerned, there are, as you mentioned, many Islamic banks which give loan. Point to be noted that most of the Islamic banks that are there, I don't know of any Islamic bank which is 100% Islamic. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. In fact, one of my projects is this, one of my interests is Islamic banking. But there are many which are, mashallah, quite a lot Islamic. There are many which are frauds also. Fine. Only namesake Islamic. What we have to note that we as laymen, if we can check up, check up. But if we, if you analyze, there is Islamic system of musharika, profit and loss sharing, which is the best, safest. Musharika means we become a partner in it. Now, other aspects are the mudariba is there. That is cost plus. In cost plus, many a times people falter, and many a times it's nothing but catching the nose in long cut. You know, aisa nose pakarne ka. Means you know, you say that it is nothing but trying to make a gimmick. So we have to analyze, and many fatwas are given on this is allowed, that is allowed, which many which I don't which I don't agree with it also. So when an Islamic bank comes, we have to scrutinize who is on the Sharia board. Just by name, please don't go. That's not important. What they do, etc. So many of the Islamic bank, I wouldn't call them Islamic. They may be very small percentage Islamic. Now in the Islamic bank, most of them do mudariba. In mudariba, there's a problem, cost plus, which comes. Sometimes it's possible, ijara is there, that is higher purchase is there, which is Islamic, musharika, is safe. Safe means if they're following Islamic principles. No? In other parts, we have to check up. And what we analyze that, most of the bank they falter and because they compete with the normal conventional bank they keep the same interest or name is different label is different but the same but so we have to be careful while taking loan but as a layman if suppose you think it is islamic and you take it and if they are doing something wrong out of ignorance you have gone so the blame will come on them not on you if you know the haram and then you go then the blame will come on you so it is the onus of the people running Islamic banks to check up whether they're following. What happened? There are many fatwas in this Islamic. And fatwa shopping is very easy. You know, what fatwa you want, you'll get. So they go and when Egypt will get, or Pakistan, or India. So they take fatwa which is convenient for them, and then they, and they sanction it. So you have to be careful while Islamic banking is there. Not that it's not possible. Possible? Very difficult. There are some banks I know which are, mashallah, good, yet not 100%, and they know it's 100%, because unless you don't have the central system of Islamic, you can't be 100%. So the thing that, that there are many Islamic banks coming up, we have to check up whether Islamic or if it's there, but there is a system which you can do. So we have to check up the functioning, how they do, and then you have to decide whether they're right or wrong. Hope that answers the question.